You're saying that the what the reishi is like this master adaptogen and it's a true adaptogen in the sense that you could probably take it for long amounts of time. It has all these effects on the different um, systems of the body. How do you see it specifically interacting with the endocannabinoid system in the sense of my, my current understanding of the ECS is, you know, it's sort of this interplay between the immune system, the endocrine system, and sort of our, our mindset and psychology. How specifically do you see the reishi mushroom um, interacting on a physiological level and also on this coherence level you've been hinting at? Uh a good good question and and i'm i'm trying to work that those details through some of the cannabis academics right now because mm -hmm. to understand a little bit uh, some of the research papers that are being brought up in this area but it, it appears that there's no question that most of the stuff that's understood about the um ecs has to do with the receptor sites etc cetera, etc cetera. And we know how they actually work, how CB1 works, how BC2 works, and several of the other, um, should I say, G channels throughout the G protein channels throughout the body to be able to work. But what's missing it, because that's done from such an academic point of view, which I wholeheartedly trust and, and, and love, it's trying to actually work on the old concept of a key lock receptor site phenomena. And granted this is true, and granted this works in a Petri dish, and granted that this works in all kinds of models. But if you look at the something like the shamanic um, tradition of South America, which I've been fortunate enough to spend a lot of time studying, they say that no, most of these medicines actually work in the form of song. What does that mean? That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, I'm saying that several of these herbs create electromagnetic frequency that also stimulate the receptor sites. What I'm saying is that it's, it's very hard to conceptualize how these very complex polysaccharides wrapped around a protein are going to absorb into the body and actually get to a receptor site. This is like, that's how come I lost all my hair. I mean, uh, uh, there's no way you can figure this out. It's impossible. But if they actually create electromagnetic frequency, let's just use, uh, borrow another term. Let's say it's producing a Bluetooth um, signal from our digestive tract via the microorganisms and creating a harmonic throughout the whole body, that seems that we be way more powerful for our receptor sites than the actual chemical itself. Estimates these days is saying it's, obviously it's different from frequency to frequency to frequency, but it averaged out to be 10 times or so stronger. So literally, so let's take again reishi. Uh, we know there's at least 450 polysaccharide groups there that are uh, grouped together. Each one of them is like a Netflix station, and they're broadcasting this kind of harmonic uh, harmony that seems to be triggering in the ECS even more than the chemical attributes are. By the way, we're starting to understand that this is quite true of cannabis too in lots of ways. Uh, for example, there is no way if you use a, a CBD ointment, put it on your skin, that it actually absorbs deep enough to get into receptor site. But it works absolutely phenomenally well, even though there is no actual true mechanism you can see from physiology. Again, it creates a harmonics at the local ECS level, which ripple effects um, throughout the rest of the body. And so again, I'm suggesting that the reishi works, yes, very much on the chemical level, and it does have that function. And it definitely does that inside the digestive tract itself, and almost for sure with the microbiota um, of our intestinal tract. But that creates a, reef, um, a ripple effect throughout the rest of the body that works with the receptor sites to even have a more profound effect. And the most important thing here, a more profound coherence effect than the actual chemical working on the individual receptor site. Does that make sense? Sounds like you're giving us a lesson here on an elevated modern physiology lesson, which I love.